Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. So tonight I'm sharing with you guys my newborn night routine. We do have a six week old newborn and you guys seem to really enjoy these. You just saw me turn on the night light and the lamp in the nursery and now making her milk with our baby Breeza. I've done videos on the baby Breeza before so you guys can definitely check those out if you wanna learn more about that. We keep it in our pantry in case you were wondering what we were. So let me just start by saying some nights may be slightly different. Sometimes Ace is up, sometimes he's in bed, sometimes the hubs and I will split duties and he'll put ace to bed and i'll put baby to bed or and ace just loves his baby sister if you can't tell from this video he, he loves her so much now what i do i don't give her a full feeding i give her like half the feeding right now so that she's nice and calm in the bathtub i did this with ace as well it worked out great because at least they have something in their stomach so they won't be upset during their bath because you want them nice and relaxed and then i'll come back after we get done and give her the rest of the feeding by the way, if you guys see anything in the nursery that you want, most of this came from Amazon. I will also link the nursery tour and just check the description box for links. So while I'm feeding and burping her, the hubs is usually cleaning the tub and running her water to get everything ready. It's great when we work as a team because we're able to get things done quicker. It's not always the case. Sometimes we do have to split duties, but we just make it work. I like to use three rags with my newborns, one for their face, one for their body, and one to cover them to keep them warm, which you will see me do. Ace finished his dinner so it's time for his milk so since he's in here with us he just decided to climb in this chair and finish his milk. So I do like to turn on the heater in the room and the bathroom just to get it nice and cozy. I found that when it's really warm because you're always cold getting out the tub they do so well they're so relaxed and <laughs> they go to sleep relaxed. <laughs> While I'm undressing her, the hubs go ahead and set up the floor. This is where I actually get her dressed once we're out the tub. And these are all the products that I use. So everything is nearby and ready to go. She's just so cute and Ace is so hands on. Yeah. Okay. So in the tub, I do use this same baby bathtub I used for Ace and it's held up over the years so I do recommend it. I do go ahead and sprinkle some warm water on it so it's not cold when she lays on it. I do keep her covered with a wet washcloth because it just helps to keep them warm. I take a bath every night and a lot of times, you know, I feel like people don't realize you're cold in the bathtub if skin is exposed. So that's one thing with my babies. They always love a bath. They still loves a bath at three years old. Um, and we, I just try to make it really enjoyable for them. I use a separate washcloth to go ahead and start washing her off. I go section by section and um, you will see me, you know, washing her here but I did not show me when I picked her up to turn her over to get her back and all of that so just know it did happen it just happened off camera now this sprayer is really nice because it sprays and it's not like a strong spray it's very gentle I got this from Amazon I will link it for you guys if you're interested I will just say to get the water to come out sometimes you do have to like tilt the base um, to get the water coming out like a certain type of way but other than that it's really nice it wasn't expensive and it works really well with her it works way better than what I used for Ace so I still recommend it now she actually doesn't get upset washing her hair unlike Ace Ace hated getting his hair washed or even touching his head but you know it doesn't faze her she enjoys it and I'm so happy about that because you know what girls we're gonna have to do their hair <laughs> constantly <laughs> As of right now, we take her bath like every other night. Um, it's not every night. Uh, sometimes it's every two or three days, you know, because they don't need a bath every night. But this just happened to fall on a night because I like to share my bath routines with you guys so that you can see how it goes. And as you can see here, she's already getting sleepy. That is what you want. She is sleeping through the nights, if you guys did not know. I'm sharing an upcoming video right after this one with tips because, you know, on my Instagram stories, I've been giving you guys updates of her sleep habits since she was born. So if you want to keep up with our daily life, make sure to follow me on Instagram and watch our stories or Facebook. I will give you guys tips of what has worked for us because our babies sleep really well, thankfully. And, you know, she's sleeping through the night now at six weeks. We're so happy about that. And you want to make sure to get that neck really good because, like, when they spit up and stuff their neck gets really dirty
so now I head to the floor I just feel like I have more space and I can work how I want to work here on the floor so that's why I've always gotten them dressed after bath on the floor instead of up on the dresser what I do is I keep their body wrapped if I'm not lotioning it down I work in sections so I if you you notice I do um, have the rest of her body covered so she doesn't get cold and as I move through her body I keep the rest of her body covered and as you can see she's cool she's enjoying it she's fine she's relaxed and again that's what we want and we are laying it from the heater if you guys can see that that is the heater it's on low so it's not too hot but again I did the same thing with Ace and it worked out really really nice to keep them nice and warm and cozy now I also have a morning routine video up on like Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. So I will link that below too. So if you want to see how our mornings work with our two kids, make sure to go ahead there and check it out. You don't see a pacifier either because we haven't used one with her we didn't with ace i didn't grow up on a pacifier either but if you want to hear me talk more about that i talked more about that in one of my previous videos called my parenting style which i will link below so i'm gonna put her on a t-shirt under this swaddle because it is the summer and it's warm in georgia ace also used it when he was a baby and i really like it i've tried a couple different ones but so far this one has worked the best because they can self-soothe like they can move their arms and move it to their face and touch their, their face and self-soothe themselves at night because she is definitely self-soothing now so we're happy about that too so the sock i'm putting on her foot is a heart rate monitor it's the outlet sock i again also used it with ace is one way i'm able to sleep peacefully with her in a crib in a different room from us so two things that i do and I, i've said this so many times um i always use a heart rate monitor so that you know i can Make sure they're okay from a distance and then i also have a motion and sound monitor on them so if she flinch if she turn her head it goes off so um that way you know i don't have to be anxious <laughs> with her in a different room in the crib by herself but i still can keep tabs on her to make sure she's okay And we're about done I lastly brush her hair and I'm also gonna put her a hat on you know to just let her hair finish drying out it's practically dry now because like again we were sitting in front of a heater so um, but I still put her hat on so she don't get sick or anything especially on nights when I wash her hair Now it's time for her last feeding. I always give bigger feedings before bedtime. So between the feeding earlier before her bath and this feeding is more than what she usually does like during the daytime combined. So that definitely helps them to sleep because they're full, they stay full a lot longer. And because I also formula feed, formula fed babies tend to stay full longer anyway. So it works out really nice and my husband and I can still just switch off. So even during our first like four weeks, where we had to get up you know every two three or four hours we switched off so it wasn't so much I still was able to get sleep he was able to get sleep once we're done with the feeding I lay her down sometimes she's sleep y'all sometimes she's not but the great thing is she self-soothes so as long as she's relaxed she'll usually just self-soothe and go on and go to sleep you know it, occasionally we might have a night where you know she's fighting it but most of the time especially on bath nights she just go ahead and go to sleep or put herself to sleep even on on bath nights she's really good at self-soothing now that's one thing like i said with the sleep suit they can self-soothe in it and that's how our night went tonight as far as putting her down let me also say that we do have a docotot in the crib no you're not supposed to leave them alone and all of that with the docotot but my babies have had a tendency to turn a lot and i did it with ace as well so i have to have that in there to just keep them from turning over um and it works great because it's nice and snug and that is just what worked for us hope you enjoyed if you did please give me a thumbs up Feel free to drop me a comment. Let me know what other type of videos you want to see or if you want some more tips from me. 
Like I said, keep an eye out for my tips to getting your babies to sleep all night really early. And I'll see you guys in my next video.